Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Greg, it's six o'clock, it's time for Magic Live. Now today, I'm gonna to be doing a routine called Simplified ACAM. Now this is a routine that I published about five years ago now. i have been doing it for about 10 years before that. Uh, but this is a very simplified way of doing it. it makes it really, really simple. Uh, it's honestly almost self-working, but it's actually a really clean ACAM. Um, so I'm gonna perform it for you. The good news is this is going up on the Netrix as of uh, Monday. So if you want to learn this routine and you want to learn all the nuances and the ideas and the bits of business, uh, then go to the net tricks. You'll get access to this as well as hundreds of other tricks by some of the best creators in magic. But I'm going to perform this to you, Jack, if that's okay. Yeah, man. Uh, I have a pack of cards and you've been watching magic long enough to know what a cat is. Any card at any number. Any card at any number. And I'm, and I'm just obsessed with ACAN, as you know. Now... It was the first ever tricky show on me. Yeah, I think it probably is. I, I give the cards a cut and complete the cut. So there's there's two aspects of um, of ACAN, which is having the card named and having the position in the deck named. Uh, Michael, don't say anything right now, but just think of a position in the deck. Have you got one? Yeah. Yeah, good. Um, Typically, if they name a position in the deck, it is very random, but the, the, the actual playing card isn't. So we're going to create a random playing card, okay? We're going to have you cut the cards, and then we'll take the top two cards off the deck, yeah. and whatever the top two cards are, we'll use one of them as the value, one of them as the suit, and that will create a brand new card. So we'll be thinking of a card that no one could possibly know. You wouldn't have thought of it because it's been created at random, right? So do me a favor, we'll do it like this. Uh, take your finger and go back and forth and just drop it down anywhere you want. Right, okay, so that's there. So the question is, do you want these two cards here, these two cards here, or this one here and this one here? This one here, this one here. Those two there. Yep. You sure? Okay. So we're going to put these down here. And obviously you thought that uh, you're thinking of a position in the deck. Yeah. Can I just ask Michael, what position are you thinking of? 20. And are you happy with 20? You can change your mind if you want. Yeah, to. I'm happy with 20. Okay, cool. Brilliant. So I'm not going to look, I'm going to look away. This card here, whatever this one is, this is the value. So can you look at that? Yep. And this card here, whatever this is, that's going to be the suit. Yep. You got it? Got it. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll cut those into the pack somewhere so they are gone. So now you're thinking of a card. No one can know what that card is. Well, I couldn't know. They know, obviously, because they looked at the cards. But you, you, you know. I don't know what the card is. But it's a completely random card because it's a card you probably wouldn't have thought of. Also, we couldn't possibly know where that card is in the deck because you created that card randomly. It could be anywhere. It's not like I could control it or anything. And likewise, Michael, you thought of a number... Um, and, and that number was 20, right? Yeah. Watch this. I'm just going to take the cards. In fact, you can deal yourself if you want to. I want you to take the cards and deal 19 cards face up one at a time into a pile on the table, counting them out loud. Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Stop. Did you see your card in there? No. No. So that's the 20th card right there. Yeah. And I still don't know what your card is. What, what was the name of the card? Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs. Um, and you, you named any number and you named 20. Yeah. And that's the 20th card. And you thought of Jack of Clubs. Yep. Turn it off. <gasps> <laughs> Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs in that exact position. And that is simplified ACAM. Well, it's a really cool way of actually doing ACAM. It's very, very simple, very, very easy to do. You'll be doing it immediately. If you can do a double undercut, you can do the trick. Uh, no memorization, no nothing like that. Um, different outcome every single time. Uh, it's going up on the Netrix on Monday. If you want to learn it, go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. Uh, and you can learn that along with hundreds of other tricks. Loads of slights, loads of loads of everything. So go check out the net tricks. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another magic live. I'll see you then.